All right, so this man just stole his crown. Uh, he doesn't like that, he's pissed off. He wants to fight him, so let's let it happen. I'm just gonna watch. I got you a cheese and I got you a pepperoni, so you want to mix it up a bit? Mix it up, do a sandwich. So what's your name, my man? My name's Fire. Fire, why do they call you Fire? Because I'm passionate as Okay, so uh, we just saw something crazy happening off off the scene over there with this random dude. What happened? Can you explain what was going on? Well, that was my crown that he's got. Just and, jacked uh, your shit? Yeah, that's what happens over here. You're happening a lot? Yeah, shit gets stolen all the time. For real? Have you ever had to like fight someone because they stole your? I mean, I know you just almost did right now, but like an actual fight, like no, punch him. No, so, I don't really like fighting. I feel that. You know, but you stood your ground with this guy. But this guy, he could have just gave me the crown back. You know. Yeah. What was he saying? Some gibberish. Some wasn't speaking English. Ah, oh, so he's like kook. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask you, man. What do you do? Like, what, what? What's your purpose out here? I don't know, dude. I know that um, I I've done art out here. And uh, you've done art, like, like something like this. This is your piece right here. Yeah, that you made? I had more pieces, but they threw it all out this morning. Who threw it out? The cleanup crew. Because yeah. I didn't move it. You didn't move it in time? No, I mean, I was gonna move it, but I didn't want to move it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where do you, where would you move it to if, like, you know? I'd have to move it just off, just like, off the street, but it was too much stuff. I mean, I could have moved it, but I didn't, and I kind of just wanted to see if they'd throw it out. And Dude, those bastards. So, how long you been doing art for? A while. A while. Do you do it here on Venice a lot, or is like, do you make the art here? Mm hmm Dope. I've made the art here, and then I also have some pieces um, in my storage unit. Okay, dope. So where do you where do you live right now? Right here. You sleep here? Yeah. And how is that? Like, what's it like? What what? What's it like sleeping on the beach? Like I've, I've interviewed people that like sleep on the streets and stuff. But what's it like on the beach, man? I feel like it must be nice, right? It is, but you're like fully exposed because everyone's like always walking around and shit. Yeah. Just like there's no privacy. And just knowing like when you're sleeping, someone's watching. Yeah, but there's just no like. It's like if you lived in like a glass house. Oh shit! Yeah. How like how'd you end up here? Like do like where were you before? Well, I want to know your story. I'm from Toronto. Oh, okay. So how'd you make your way all the way to Venice Beach, California? Um, I took a flight, you know? Yeah. So I lived in New York before I uh, moved here. And then from New York, I was acting in New York. Uh-huh. And then I'd come out to L.A. And... So you're an actor. Were you in anything yeah. like cool, like Broadway yeah. or anything like that? I've been in uh, some movies. What in, movies? Independent movies. Oh, sick. That's dope. Yeah. Do they ever, like, go, like, sign up? Do you mind if I give your dog some crust? He's just looking yeah, so yeah. cute. I know, right? I just had to. Go ahead. Hey, bud, we'll stack you up. <laughs> dog just chilling. It's right here. What? Duke. This is Duke right here. Duke's a big dog. His name's Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington. That's, like, some royalty name right that, there. That's the... He's a uh, musician. Yeah. Oh, it, oh Duke yeah, Ellington's a musician. Pianist. 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 Oh, shit. Go. So, what transferred you from being in New York to just being living on the, the beach out here? I just never really got the opportunity to like learn things in life yeah. because I was kind of sheltered and stuff. And I feel like I'm just taking like a leap of faith in a way to um, to find myself. That's dope. And um, and to figure out you know what it's like to make money. You know, I sold a painting. Uh, last week for 450 bucks. Oh, wow, that's dope! Congratulations, yeah. man. Is, have you do you usually sell a lot of art? That well, no, that was kind of like the first big piece oh, I sold. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. How long have you been out here on the beach, living here? Mm -hmm. I mean, since last year. Okay, so you've been living on like on this basically, let's just say like on we've been living in, on the beach. Yeah. No home, just out here for a year and a half. Mm -mm. Like. Okay, less than a year. Less than a year. Mm -hmm. So in that less than a year time span, 
what have you learned? Like, tell me something that you've learned that's like that you can't learn from you know being sheltered. Um, like a lot of people that watch my videos maybe are. I guess priorities. You learn um, like what you want to do and how you want to do it, and it's like instead of just walking the boardwalk. I've put myself, like, on the outside, now looking in, rather than being on the inside looking out. So, do you ever feel like you lose a sense of time? Like, like do you, like, ever, like, forget, like, what day it is, or what time is there? Do you not even, like, really know? Because I don't see you have a watch or anything. Like, do you ever know, yeah. like, the time, or, like... Yeah, I don't really pay attention to that. I see a lot, you got a lot of art on your hands and, and your mm. tattoos. That's dope. Like, who, who does I all did, that? I did all that. No way. So, like... Do you have like a whole tattoo? Tattoo? Yeah, I have the whole. Uh, you have the whole setup, so you yeah. just sit there and you just tattoo yourself. Pretty much. That's badass. I've done it. Yeah, I did. I did it when I lived in Hollywood. You lived in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Where were you living in, in Hollywood? Um, at the Cosmo Lofts. Okay. I mean, and how it, long were you there for? Like two years. Oh, shit. Thing is, like, I was talking about like, you know my dad like supporting me and stuff mm -hmm. and then kind of just everybody telling me what to do and having all these like I still do it's just like I'm just trying to put myself out there you know and and like we wouldn't be doing this interview if, it, if I didn't right you know what I mean yeah. and it's like you know good things come out of like the shit in a way right and so and it's like pretty much like that's what this is about it's about you know being one and not trying to fit in and, and, and but like you know just like putting yourself facing, out there, yeah right? putting your like facing your fears that's sick like head on that's awesome man well, so it sounds like you're like you're very independent obviously yeah where, where before that happened like before your parents or your dad was supporting you and not did he just stop or like how did no I mean he still gives me money okay but where does he live in Canada. So how does it get you the money? I mean, puts it into my hand. Okay, got it. That's sick. So, what else is like, what is some craziest thing that you've seen out here, like, on Venice? I know Venice is like full of crazy people, like that guy earlier. What's like I mean, the craziest thing that's happened? I need like a crazy story, something juicy, bro. There's all types of shit that happens out here. For me, I'm like, I'm trying to, you know, Accomplish something out here. Yeah. And then. Um, Do you feel like people are trying to stop you from accomplishing things? No. But I get. I lose that, like. Drive and that, that hustle mentality. And I. Uh, don't. When I don't, like, uh, take care of myself or yeah. you know do what I need to do like this morning was stupid I shouldn't have had my artwork thrown out you know right. I just didn't move it because I was like you just wanted to see if they yeah were. I just wanted to see if they would do it I'm just like pushing pushing the edge like, yeah you know and they did it and I was like damn so, dude. so like how many hours of like work so did much, you dude. like was it a lot of yeah so, it was a, a lot, lot of, of shit? fucking artwork dude there's yeah. like a whole stack of it dude. like probably like 10 pieces yeah. So um, even if you just sold that at a hundred bucks each, that would have been a thousand bucks right there. Yeah. Do you regret like pushing it to the edge and seeing if they would? No, I don't have any regrets. I just know that uh, now, now I need to be more careful. Yeah. And 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 it's cool because I saw what people liked uh -huh. and I saw what was being sold and stuff. So now I'm just gonna strictly do do that stuff rather than try and like. It was like basically an experimental process. Yeah. Like I've been out here um, kind of f***ing around. Right. But, but it, just recently I've been kind of refocused and I'm trying to do something out here honest. And, um, so yeah, dude. I, mean, I don't really have much crazy stories for you other than that. Like what I'm doing is kind of, you know, to some people might seem crazy. Yeah. I'm trying to make something happen you know yeah and it's tough out here when you're like like meeting you guys and just like meeting honest people like you guys is probably the the, the goal you right. know is to meet people that have like that want to do things and want to make 
get things done and shit because that helps everybody. Right. It helps with the creative yeah. process too. And it's right. like I think sometimes I could do it alone, but I really can't. Yeah, know? it's hard. You gotta have a team, bro. And so let me ask you now another question. Like your style, it seems pretty dope. Yeah. Your your haircut. Who did you do that yourself? Yeah. So what's what's like why did you leave the la- the back part? Like um, is there like a signifying thing? It reminded me of like just kind of like a a native, native, like a Native American, kind of just living on the land type shit. Yeah, that's cool. and that's how I kind of yeah. felt. So where do you get your clothes from? Yeah, I've got Goodwill. You know, people. I don't. feel like everyone in LA wants to dress like you. Yeah, like you're you're living yeah. the LA style right now. Yeah, and it's just like I, um, the lifestyle that I've chosen. Which is like being being out here is a choice, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't have to be out here. I can, you know, be in an apartment. And, you know. But you choose to be home. Yeah, like but home I want to be out here because I want to be out here with everybody, and I want people to see me. And I want people. To, I want people to, you know, uh, see the, you know, the Do struggle because it's like I can't. I'm not gonna get anywhere. The easy, the easy way is usually the kind of uh uh-uh way like you never really get where you really want it to be so i'm yeah. just trying to make it harder for myself do you think that a lot of people here on venice beach like maybe have the same idea as you and want to be homeless no. you think a lot of them are forced to be a lot of them are just actually f-ed up. really like in like our and you've um, met a lot of them yeah i know everyone out here and like is there some people that are like me- like straight up mental yeah there's people that are just gone and right. that are just what do you think when you see someone like that? Are you like, do you feel bad it's for sad, me? Or just yeah, like, it's sad as f- dude. Just throwing their life away, huh? Mm-hmm. And did you ever like, like, is there a drug issue out here or not really? Yeah. What kind of, like, what is that drug that people do out here? Everything, dude. Really? Crack, heroin. Oh, crack. you seen it all happening? Yeah. Damn. So that must be like pretty, like, I you mean, ever dabble into that? Yeah, or? of course, bro. It's that, you do, when you're out here, you, that's what you do. Right? There's really nothing else to do at, yeah. at night or whatever. Well, I mean, the real goal is to, uh, you know, fully separate myself from that uh-huh. and, and stay true and honest because um, I feel like when I'm half in and half out, I can't, you know, stuff like this happens, like where right. I get all my artwork thrown away yeah. because I'm not, you know, thinking right. right, you know what I mean? And it's like, these are the lessons and this is what I'm learning. You know, right not like I can't, you know, really, really do something if I'm like half in or half out. Right. And, and I'm just in that struggle right now. Well, know, I, res- I respect, to find yeah, balance, I respect you, know? you like going out there and like actually trying to like follow your dreams and actually putting yourself in with the world. You know what I'm saying? Not just mm-hmm. being sheltered like a lot of artists, like you actually are out here trying to like, yeah, it's like do I'm, your thing. I want to do, I want to have like a clothing line. I have like, you know, a whole concept yeah. and everything. And now that my uh, art kind of got thrown away, I want to do... Um, focus on doing I want to focus on maybe setting up like a numerology stand. What is that? Stand. What is it's numerology? Like, it's basically like, um, like intuition or like... Oh, got it, got it. Not intuition. It's basically like the power of numbers. Sick. Okay. And then... Because I like numbers and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, wait, my favorite number is 13. What is that? Does that signify anything? I know it's, like, a bad number for a lot of people. Well, I mean, 13... So, the way I do it is I, I put the numbers to colors so we can understand it okay. better. You know what I mean? So, could you break down the number 13 for me? Yeah, so 13 is 1 and 3, which equals 4. Uh-huh. And 4 is the color gray. Right. So, gray um, would represent whatever that how, however gray makes you feel yeah that's what it, that's see that's why i like doing it in that's color, interesting because then i don't need to say anything you under already right understand it's just whatever it. color gray feels to me yeah and that's what 13 is man this is i'm getting mind blasted over here yeah dude so so prior to acting growing up like what else did you do um, or was it just solely just acting art like school, school? yeah I, I went to military high school you did yeah, I went so, for four years. And then what happened? You just were done with it? And then I, then I moved to New York after. To be an actor? Yeah. What made you want to be an actor? Just because I was really emotional. And Got like it. I knew I was. And like I just knew I could, like, 
you know, I had that fire. Yeah. You know, and I could put it on. That's why they call you fire. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I don't need to wear a king's crown to know that I'm a king, you know what right. I mean? Yeah, this so, stole it over here. Exactly. You know what? I'd rather have the bat. <laughs> yeah, the bat's better. You got <laughs> yeah, protection now. I mean, he looks like a Jedi, though, with his over here spinning swords and shit. He actually looks retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me ask you one last question. Family life. I know you say your dad helps you out. What do you have any siblings? Mom? Yeah. My brother's a lawyer. Okay. Um, and then I'm the youngest and the oldest. So you're in the middle? Yeah. Still the same as me. And then, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have a lot of viewers that come to Venice Beach and they like to walk this boardwalk. Mm-hmm. Is this your spot right here? Yeah, it's going to be my spot for a bit. Okay, so you guys just look. Breeze. It's, what's it's, it called? It's breeze in the boardwalk. Breeze. breeze. It's so called Breeze. breeze. All right, so breeze l- come check out my man. Check out his art. He's doing some next level stuff. So if you guys see him, say what's up. Tell him that you came from my video. And yeah, you, would you be cool if people came up and were like, what's up? Yeah, tell people the, the more the merrier. Awesome, man. Come through, see my man. Yeah. I mean, pet his dog. My name's Fire and this is Duke. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, pick up some merch, brandontaylor.com. You guys already know what's up. And I will see you guys all next time I post. Peace out. If you guys need clothes, um, paintings, anything, just let me know and I'll, and I'll make it happen. Come oh. see me. Hell yeah, come see the man fire. No man, I appreciate it. High five? Yeah, you're in the <laughs> Be careful with this guy over here. He's taking his jacket off with his yoga pants. Don't worry. Oh, he's I'm getting his whole outfit on. <laughs> Yo, show him real quick. He's getting ready to go into an Avatar movie. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.